Hey everyone, I'm here again for another Traveler's Notebook session. This is um, going to be for another event that I took my eldest son to. The little one um, wasn't feeling very well, so we left him at home. I'm just showing you that I'm using the Everyday Collection chipboard that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, but yeah, my little one was sick, so we left him home um, for this event with his father, who was also sick. Um, and it, I'm glad we left him home because it wasn't a very three-year-old friendly event. It was a barely a four-year-old friendly event, but he had fun anyway. So I'm just using some of my uh, Halloween patterned paper that I had in my stash from last year. I have so much Halloween stuff from last year. It's unreal. It seemed like, um, last year the Rosses and TJ Maxx's and Marshall's had a lot of Halloween stuff. I know they had a lot of the After Dark stuff, which is weird because that collection was new last year, but in any event, I was able to uh, acquire a, a lot of really good Halloween stuff last year, and this year it didn't seem like there was a whole lot that they had out in the stores, and I wasn't all that impressed with the stuff that Michaels had because they always come out with lines for each holiday, and I wasn't all that impressed with what they had, so just using the stash. So I'm, uh, I cut the orange striped piece of paper into like a banner to kind of make it look like that picture that banner was coming out of the picture um and I thought that was a cool effect so I stuck with it I was going to put journaling there but I kind of like the way it looks and this is a glassine bag that I got in some happy mail that I ordered from Sakura Lala over in Oahu and um I saved that glassine bag and left the tape right on there because I, I liked the way that it looked and I was determined to get it used. And lucky me, the washi tape was orange, so it fit in really well with this spread and it was the perfect size to fit in the notebook and hold the little tickets that they um, gave us for the event. Um, it was kind of cool. They didn't give you like a bunch of tickets. They had these printouts um, and you paid five, ten, or twenty dollars for the tickets and um, each thing that they had was, um, like a dollar or, you know, two dollars or three dollars or whatever. And so we, um, we paid for a ten dollar ticket and then, um, we actually found a five dollar ticket on the ground. So we were able to, and it was totally unused. And so we were able to get a little more bang for our buck because a lot of the things like the, um, on the right hand side, you can see him in like a, like a, like a train thing, but they were like cans. That was $3 for him to drive around the parking lot. So he was able to do a few more things with that extra $5 ticket and they let us keep them. So I just tucked it right in there. I also put a tag in there that I'm going to put the journaling on. And I kind of did the same thing that I did in my last video where I grabbed a bunch of stuff from my stash to try to get it used. And this is one of those things. The colors were literally perfect for this spread. Um, the only color that I couldn't use was that like pinky color but to be honest with you it almost kind of worked with the color of that um that banner paper in the middle it was like an a, like a light mm, skin toned like orange tan color and it almost matched that pink color perfectly but I didn't end up using any of them um and I'm just gluing the top of that down because it was poking up a little bit and it was kind of bothering me. Very simple, very easy layout. Just wanted to get the ephemera in there and the photos in there and I think I'm done. Just showing you all the gold pieces and that you can still open this little piece right here and get the journaling and the tickets out. And I wanted to put the date on, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I got the date on there as quickly as possible before I forgot when it was and that's it super duper easy layout using stuff that I had on my desk, which I'm really proud of doing that. Until next time, guys, thanks for stopping by. Bye.